it's gonna be two months it will be two months probably until the next time we have a void guaranteed event again so what do we have this time around we had the void guaranteed fortis event it's an unfortunate one since i was waiting for a void guaranteed one i was ready to go and buy some shards to get probably a void that i maybe didn't have already i don't think they will ever do anything for sifi for krisk for necret those top mvp champions i don't think they'll ever do a guaranteed event but this is not the first time they did a guaranteed event let's have a look at the history of guaranteed events and when we should expect for the next one to come especially for sacred charts whenever i see my sacred charts piling up i know that they haven't done something very special for a long time since i only get them from the monthly pack that the raid, ha the raid has i never buy them specifically just to buy sacred charts and i just have them pile up through doing clan boss let's have a look at the past guaranteed events and see what we should ex be expecting in the future so starting out since march 2021 we had the first ever ancient shard right have a look at that first ever ancient shard guaranteed event for countless legs for 150 ancients then uh, many months later actually in june we had the first ever sacred one for 15 sacreds for helior which i didn't go for then we had some for epics we had an, a void one for 15 voids to get ursala the mourner which is kind of kind of weird for only 15 voids since later on they did one for i think it was 40 or 30 voids to get still another epic just because of how much more powerful it was they had it more expensive we have the geomancer one for 40 ancients right here around the 27th of july so a little bit over a month after ursala we had geomancer which was a good one and i still think that if they had it again they would put it at a higher price maybe 50 or even 60 ancients just because of how good geomancer is and how much players would be interested in going for it 40 ancients is not that high to get even for free-to-play players that are kind of you know doing their clan bosses every day they're keeping their ancients that even have a few gems saved up they can really get that 40 ancient mark so if they ever did geomancer again it would be higher then around september so again two months later we had lady kimmy pop up through 150 ancients which for this one i did go for i did want to get a lady kimmy and then i did manage to get her this was definitely one of the top ones i would say since they ever started doing it at least for legendaries and after that we had a couple of void ones so we had september 2021 we had cold heart with seven voids required to get a cold heart that was a pretty good one um seven voids are not easy to get especially for free to play since it's only through clan boss there's no way to get it other than the monthly one and maybe the normal doom tower and hard doom tower you get a couple in there but you need to be able to complete those and by that time maybe cold heart is not really a requirement to beat the spider maybe you have her already you have something else then it was 30 voids for madame series which is kind of insane um to, th to think about because um 30 voids for madame compared to 15 voids for ursala they're not in the same category all right in terms of usefulness but ursala is still a very solid epic to carry you through a very solid reviver and um attack down champion as well not as good as madame series of course for the buff strip defense down attack down steel fear she is so good and she was definitely worth the 30 voids, I would say. Then we had Vizier of Elis for 111. This was like a big discount comparing it to the 150 for Lady Kimmy. A big discount. I didn't go for this one. I think I did go then. Um, this was November 2021. So very quickly after that, in about two weeks time, this was very weird. We had Genshin for 120 which was again kind of a, a lower price comparing it to the last time we had September so then two months later November we had um, busier and then exactly like two weeks later we had Genzin this was very weird by them in the sense of how quickly they did it in between then we had Gamoran I didn't go for Gamoran I didn't see the need for this kind 150 ancients is quite a lot Inquisitor Shamael came around the same time that we had the Hydro release and it, it was expected 25 voids this was lower price than uh, madame series it was okay then we had 
four sacreds for a rector draft. This was this was like a cheat. All right, if I remember this correctly, many players felt cheated to have a guaranteed epic. So this is a guaranteed epic. So you're opening up your your sacred shards, and you get a guarantee. So that fourth sacred could have been legendary, but the way they made it is so it it bypassed any odds you had to get a legendary, and you would get for sure a an epic. This was, I think, the most skipped won by many players out there because of how bad this event was and uh, this was only a couple of days after uh, inquisitor shamael and then we had 15th of january 25 voids for god seeker and he really solid but not as you know game changer still very solid for hydra i think they were releasing champions for hydra around that time 15th of january like a month later we had 15 sacreds for um wither i didn't go for this unfortunately then 40 Ancients for Th Theresk. Um, it's an epic champion, so nobody really bothered with this one. Archbishop Pinthroy. I think I went for this one just to have it around the 8th of March, which was very, very soon after the 40 Ancients for Theresk. But I don't think players really complained about this one. Then we have 15 Sacreds on the 7th of April for Kyoku. Then it was the first one ever for Voids with Riho Bone Spear. And then 120 now by the way we have 80 voids then 120 ancients for uh raf matab ccr for 12 sacreds this was a nice surprise for players who didn't have ccr already and we have kadrafon there for 150 ancients again for players who don't have him ragash i didn't go for him so 17th of june then a month later another 150 for ragash then nekmothar in july like a week later almost 10 days later for Nekomo, you went for 15 sacreds, then 80 voids in August. Then we had Gofred Brassclad in the 2nd of September for 140 ancient shards. And basically, that was the last time we had an event. And now we do have the 80 voids guaranteed one. So 2nd of September, this was 26th of August. So how, how long ago? Two months, guys. So in two months, Maybe we should be expecting a void event again. So the voids were 80 voids for Tervolt around the 26th of August. Riho, 26th of April. So it was May. Wow. May, June, July. Oh, that was four months in between for the voids. It can actually be more than two months for the next one. But I am expecting maybe around Christmas they do more guaranteed champion events. It will never be champions that everybody is looking for. It will never be a Prince Karma. It will never be, a, as I said, you know, a Sifi or a Krisk or stuff like that. And it will never be anything that everybody is looking for. It will be those those characters that you that you want to use, but maybe not no longer like in their prime, such as uh, Vizier of Elis. No longer in his prime, no longer used as much in the clan boss. He used to be like the god of clan boss. Everybody was looking for him. Um, so what I'm thinking of is save your shards for the next one. I have 19 voids right now. By the time the next big event comes, I should be able to have like maybe 50, right? Maybe 50 and then maybe I buy a pack or two and get to the required amount. It all depends, guys, on what your spending limits are. But the void ones are the most difficult ones to get. The Ancients are already piling up. I've got nine Ancients since the last one plus one. And the Sacreds are really the easiest one to get comparing it to the value of a pack. So the Sacreds have like a $30 value by Plarium. That's how much they see it as 20, 25, somewhere there. Let's say 20. Um, comparing that to the Voids, you should be getting like, if, if they would give out the same value, they would give out like, 20 ancient shards in one chest from the clan boss or you know five void shards from one clash but that's not what they do so that's why we have more sacreds and we see them as like so much less valuable than all the others uh, in terms of buying them so anyway guys this was like a quick video to just take you through the mindset of plyum and how their guaranteed events go right be mindful i can share you guys this link from the hell hades website also Love has this so um it's like a timeline of what they do so you can see it with your own eyes and and expect when the next one is going to be it can even be as close as next week because we're going to have a personal reward cvc which makes me think okay on on tuesday we're going to have a personal cvc it's either going to be a big 10x event 
for a void and non-void or they're going to do a guaranteed or they will do a one plus one or they'll do i don't know if they'll ever do like a 2x plus 10x like for a single day i don't think they've ever did that so there's many different events that they do to try and get uh, monetization to go up in different days and that's why they kept the cdc's on tuesdays and wednesdays so they they um, remove that spike from the weekend in terms of buying shards. They have the spikes for 10Xs. They have the spikes for 2Xs. They wanted the spike during Tuesday, Wednesday, which is, in my eyes, they're the lowest days, and that's why they did the CVCs there. They wanted to, to spike spending during that time. It's a smart move in terms of, uh, you know, making money, but, you know, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, this was the video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.